on my come again tribe. <laughs> this is the long anticipated video about the little wing called T1 Ranger from Hewing. Um, I've built it. Some other guys have already had the pleasure to fly it. So now it's my turn. And um, what you can see, it's a typical uh, T1 Ranger. I will tell something about it later. But um, first of all, let me show how this one flies. If it flies, but for, I hope it will. It's cold, sun is about to set as usual. I'm late and you guys, you guys are with me. Hang on, we are launching now. Unfortunately, as it happens, <laughs> my GPS won't work. It won't give it a fix. Ah, okay, but I will override it. <laughs> and while I try to override it, let me take you to the beginning where we build the final steps. Let's solder it up then. Check the mic and make sure it's and it's done. Yep, soldered up and almost ready. What we still need to solder are the C connectors as well as uh, the power. Anyways, we want to put it onto uh, a piece of wood which follows with the kit or the plug and play version. And you can see that it has two by two centimeter mounts and these holes are for the rails. What I did is take half a centimeter in from both sides and make a hole so we can get a zip tie through it. Why do I do so? I will tell you in a second, but I do so on any plane I can do this with, also with a river. So we have an anti-skid foam here. You can see this. I place this over here so nothing can get off. And I will take the flight computer and simply zip tie it down to the wood. And with that, we can simply screw on the flight computer to wherever we want. So, let me adjust that zip tie. You only need one in this case, and uh, we'll take a look at it later. This is how it looks now. We zipped it down, like so. One zip tie beneath, and those extra drilled holes. We have this kit for a foam in between, so it won't go anywhere. And now, push it where it was. So this is how it looks now. I've disconnected the LED connectors from this adapters, which you simply can screw on and off by these ones in the side wall and taken the power supply from the PV, uh, BEC board, which came with heaving, and connected them to servo up one and two. Further, I added the XT60 connector so we're good to go. So let's have a look at these. There is one connector and that must be the first one. This is the motor. The second one is the servo. So you can disguise those guys by having a look at this. This is combined. This is for the servos. And the single ones are for the motors. So I will take those and plug it into servo input one and servo input 2 for the motors, which is connected as airplane without rudder in INA. Well, that's basically it. I guess we can screw this back together again. Oh, okay, uh, we've reached that part where we go for the DP1 receiver. So usually I solder those guys up to uh, DuPont pins. This time I will make a difference. I will directly solder those pins onto the pads here so I can uh, just attach it directly to the flight computer. Antenna is placed as you've seen. And so we don't need that long wires and uh, 
just need to attach the receiver to the flight computer. So I guess about 5cm of wire will do. We'll first of all solder that up and then I think we'll give it a go. There we are. Just uh, made the wires fit onto this UART. Um, this should be ready to use as though, although we need to flash the, uh, the Express LRS 2.0 on this one. So we'll do that first so we have control over the brain and the flight computer. And yeah, it looks like a Christmas tree from the inside. <laughs> Who cares? Before we set it up in the air, let's have a look at the tail fin. I've embedded the VTX like Crackle Fluke did and there are some wires out at the bottom of it. Now, don't you put them where the excess. Make a hole inside the green circle. Okay, okay, I, over, I did some override on the arm switch. So we're gonna head in this direction and I hope it will launch. And <laughs> we will have some fun. Let's see. Handles easy, it looks good. So we're currently flying on 3S. I got a 3S 3000 lithium polymer battery in it and everything else is stuck TNT. I hope you are recording this in the air. I can tell it looks good. Satisfied, and nothing happened. Flight modes aren't working, I do 
just yet, as, as it looks like. It's a stock Aina uh, 4.0 on it. And it feels a little flimsy. OEC, as I told you, is not really set up. It looks horrible. I got some noise in the picture and uh, I guess I come in for a landing now just to, to keep it safe. And I don't know how long so the battery I've got included here. Hold on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I was a strange flight, but I can tell you it worked. It worked good. Um, I decided to go for 3S instead of 4S, which I plan to do. Uh, yet again, uh, some blogs from UK convinced me with their setup. So they are flying 2S. If I fly 3S, well, this must be enough. I can tell you, motors, um, chilly cold, nothing. You can even feel it, but I can't feel anything because of the temperature out here. It's, oh, it's not that cold, but it's pretty cold. My fingers are uh, freezing, it's stiff. And uh, well, yeah, it flies. First of all, it flies. There's some riddles I have to uh, figure out. Is uh, first of all, why doesn't the GPS tell me satellites? Could it be because my receiver is too close to the uh, the antennas from my Express LS receiver are too close to the GPS unit? Possibly. Second uh, is why does I don't see the things I would have thought to see in my goggles? Guess I forgot that in a hurry. And third of all. Um, why doesn't my mode fly? Uh, my modes work. I don't know. Anyways, um, I guess that's it for the moment. Now let's talk about some details. As you can see, I decided to do the VTX in the, hand, in the rear fin. And the antenna up, looking up there is pretty good. It's a little fiddle, uh, fiddly job to get the wires through the uh, pipe. But yeah, well, that will do. Another little special thing is, if you didn't see it by now, uh, the camera. The camera is a little bit of special because you can pan it. Yes, you can. And straight now it's recording in 4K, I hope. And uh, right now I'm looking stupid twice. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, we'll blend the footage in in a second. And you guys, I hope you guys got an idea on how the T1 Ranger flies on 3S. Unbalanced, unstabilized, no real steady go, no hyper smooth, no rock steady, no whatsoever. <laughs> Pure flight manual and it's freezing cold. My wingman here is getting cold and <laughs> shivering. That's not me, that's my wingman. So that's it for now. I would like to say thank you for joining me on that one, on this short one on the T1 Ranger and we will have a lot of fun with it in the near future. I will keep the videos coming and keep you updated. Stay tuned. Happy New Year to you if we don't see each other in this near time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We meet again then. Bye bye.
right, boys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome.